What's up, everybody? JC for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Doing 2019 Panini Flawless Collegiate Football. It's a one-box brief case break. Pick your teams. Numero uno, number one. So just before I start this break, it's going to come from a sealed master. So number one and number two should be linked. Uh, but uh, before we start the break, <clears throat> we usually do use group break checklists for collegiate uh, products. But as of right now, as we're breaking this, group break checklist has not updated or uploaded the uh, checklist in collegiate or from collegiate to NFL teams. If you click the link, it's just going to open up eBay. So they haven't posted it yet. So hopefully soon, later today. So and uh, what that means is that for this break at least, uh, we're going to go by college rules. Uh, that's what I heard from Nick, saying until they post it, uh, we're going to go by college rules. So uh, whatever teams they're currently on right now to this day, uh, if they're retired, teams they played for the longest. So this is just for this break. Hopefully by picker team number two, it is posted and we just go by the checklist. But just a little FYI for people that are in this break. And good luck. Here you go. Flawless Collegiate Football, one box briefcase. Pick your team's number one. So Chris with the Cardinals. Josh got last ball mojo with the Bengals. And good luck to everybody else. And here's the case. So you guys can see the real thing right here. Boom. All right. Let's rip it open. Just like we have been doing, we're going to go top or bottom, roll a die, whichever briefcase ends up, oh, whichever briefcase ends up uh, with the dice roll is what briefcase we're going to use for this break. Alright, so there you go. Just like the last break, guys. For a random hit. One, two, three for the top. Four, five, six for the bottom. Be right here. Two. So one, two, three, top. The bottom here will post will be PYT number two. Horrible writing, but it's gonna pass. Let's put this over here. Keep it separate. This. And here you go, guys. Good luck. And again, in years past as well, guys, they've uh, done the. Uh, whoa, what happened to my knife? They've done the. Um, all college team cases so if that's the case I know it's gonna be kind of kind of not the best I guess because it's only gonna be players that played for that team but hey that's just the way it goes so let's see what this one's about uh, this one looks like it's just a regular version let's open up here All right, and I'm going to put blanks on the other card so that way. I don't see them. There's that one. One in the middle. I'm trying to feel it. There you go. And one to the left. So it should be all blocked. You guys can't see them, as you can see. Let's open it up. Close it for now. I think I need this honestly. But here you go, guys. Good luck. 
College rules, remember that. First one we got is Devin Singletary, 10 out of 10. Florida Atlantic University. Now, I believe this is the same Devin Singletary that is the running back for the Bills, I believe, right? I didn't realize he went to Florida Atlantic. <laughs> Yes. So there you go. That is Buffalo Bills with the first hit. Bills. It's going to Bill. All right, next one. Royce Freeman, 15 of 15. Nice Oregon Ducks patch right there. That's going to be going to the Denver Broncos. Denver Broncos, that's William Hummel. All right, next one. Wow. One out of five. Barry Sanders. Detroit Lions. Back-to-back -back hits for William, who I don't think too long ago just picked up the, the Lions. Look at that. Beautiful autograph as well. All right, we have a couple more, guys. We have uh, Rocket Ismail, 23 of 25. Nice. Notre Dame. Let's actually look that up really quick. Who did he play for the longest? Or if not... Is that Raiders? Wow. <laughs> this is actually a three-way tie, it looks like. Check this out, guys. Rocket Ismail, Notre Dame, played three years for the Carolina Panthers, it looks like. Three years for Dallas. Three years for the Oakland Raiders or LA Raiders. <laughs> and remember, guys, tiebreaker would go to teams' uh, games played. He played 126 total games, 42 for Carolina, 39 for Dallas, but 45 for the Raiders. So, again, how do we go to the Raiders? Oakland Raiders, that's Eric. Now, again, I understand someone like this. I, I actually don't remember him too much because, you know, I'm a 90s baby at least. So, <laughs> uh, he may have been a Raider in the checklist. Maybe not. I don't know. But since there is no checklist, that'll be going to the Raiders. College rules. All right, next one. We have, wow, another one out of five, or three out of five this time, Vinny Testaverde. Nice. Now, Vinny Testaverde, I know he bounced around a little bit. He played for a handful of teams, but it looks like he played for the Jets the longest. Played seven years with the Jets. Remember, years go more than Tampa Bay. So, yes, he may have played maybe more games with Tampa Bay, but remember, years is always first then tiebreaker would be games. So that's kind of unfortunate, but that's just the way it is, you know. Seven years for the Jets, so he may have been injured with the Jets here and there. 
But yeah, it looks like seven years with the New York Jets. So that'll be going to the Jets. Uh, Levi. Well, at least he had a better record with the Jets. He was 35 and 26. So maybe he was better with them anyways. There you go, Jets. All right, a couple more, guys. We have Rodney Anderson, fifteen out of, uh, 5 out of 15. Rookie Patch Auto. University of Oklahoma. All right, Rodney Anderson. Uh, Cincinnati Bengals. And that is Last Spot Mojo. Nice. Josh. All right, a couple more guys. Wow, what a patch. Five out of five, Justice Hill. Man, there's a lot of out of fives in this briefcase. Whoa, that looks like that's him. Actually, oh no, that's somebody else. That's like a. Is that a Barry Sanders patch? That looks like a Barry Sanders patch. Doesn't it? That is awesome. They must have worn a jersey with his patch. Oh, Justice Hill should be Ravens, I believe. I think I pulled his one on one the other day. Yeah, Ravens. Baltimore Ravens, Eric. And the last one, ooh, another good patch. Benny Snell Jr., 12 out of 20. That's a bowl patch. Anybody recognize that bowl patch maybe Kentucky played in? Uh, let me go get one more 180s. Anyhow, that should be uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Should be uh, Steel Curtain. Just double check. Yeah, Steelers. Now, to the briefcase hits. Good luck. There's three hits in the briefcase. I'll actually just turn it around because I think the cover should still be there, covering all the hits. Peak. Yeah, we're good. So I believe Joe goes left, right, middle. There you go, first one. Wow, it's a Daniel Jones. 13 out of 20. And that is a, uh, what is that, a ruby? Where does it say that? Uh, whatever, still very nice. <laughs> 13 out of 20, Daniel Jones. Nice. New York Giants, Chris Berry. Yeah, it's a ruby, right? That's what I figured. Nice. All right, next one. Wow, it's a three out of five, AJ Brown. It should be Sapphire, I think. Emerald, there you go. Actually, there you go. Nice, AJ Brown, that's Tennessee Titans. 
Levi with the Titans. A lot out of fives. Yeah, I must have missed it. Actually, it says Ruby at the top, doesn't it? All right, guys, and we know they're authentic. Last hit, the middle hit. Good luck. Nice, Marquise Brown. Six out of 20. RPA. Nice break. Ravens. Hollywood Brown, Eric. So, hey, this briefcase actually had two autographs, not too shabby. Daniel Jones and Marquise Brown. And there you go, everybody. That was the break. This was the one briefcase break, picker team number one. Number two is actually in the store. Very close. Joe will be able to break that for you when he's coming live right now in about 10 minutes. Uh, appreciate it, guys.